Okay, so here they want to know what is the slope of the line that passes through the points 3, 5, and negative 2, 2. So before we even solve this directly, let's just set this up, right, to get a picture of what's happening. Here is uh, our x and our y axis, and we know this has to pass through negative 2, 2, negative 2, 2, and 1, 2, 3, 5. So there's this line here right passes through these two points and they want to know what's the slope of this line which means if you've heard of slope before you pick two points and you compare the rise to the run oops let me match this point up here All right the rise is just being pick two points and the rise is how far much up have you risen and run is how far over you've gone so we call that in math we call that rise over run and you're trying to figure that out in this case. Now, of course, you might be familiar with this. You could have gone the other way, right, to, to reach this point up here, from this point to this point. You could have gone right and left and then up and down. But the point is, you want to measure slope. So you're picking two points. And fortunately, they give you those. It saves you a little bit of time. Because the slope says, OK, to figure out how fast these things are changing, what you want to do, right, m is slope. That equals delta y over delta x. And delta y, delta x, right, that's just a short way of saying the difference in y values of two points and the difference of x values in two points. In this case, they give us those points. So our y values start there first. We can call this point 1, and then that means the numbers inside are x1 and y1. And this we'll call, right, this will be point 1, and this will be point 2. And that'll be called x2, oops, x2 and y2. And this will help us understand how the formula is working. So we got these two points, and once you've picked a point, you could have switched this around. You could have made this point one and this point two, and we will we will still get the same answer. Um, but but once you pick one of the points as point one, make sure its its corresponding x and y values are also x1 and y1. Right? You don't want to flip back and forth there. So y2, that's 2, right, we're choosing this as, y, as 2, and this 2 is y2, over, here's x2, I'll put that in right now, negative 2, minus here, 2 minus 5, and then negative 2 minus 3. 2 minus 5 is negative 3, right, and negative 2 minus 3, well, what's that? Negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. If I simplify negative 3 over negative 5, I know I can get it as plus 3 over 5. So here I pick 2, which is just 3 over 5. And, and here, this canceling out right here might have thrown you off, but I'm just saying a negative divided by a negative has to be a positive. Right? So negative 3 over negative 5 is also the same thing as positive 3 over positive 5. Divide both numbers in top, but then their respective numbers on the bottom, right? And you will get a positive value. All right, hope that helps.